welcome back to Pure Lutty. So today's video is a super quick speed review of some products that I have been trying. This is actually over the last like two, three months because of my surgery, um, I didn't do makeup for six weeks. So yeah, over the last two or three months, these are some new products to my collection that I've been trying. So if you wanna see what I've got, then make sure you keep watching. And if you like today's video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up down below because it really helps me out. And if you're new, don't forget to join my family, hit that subscribe button and change that notification bell to all so you don't miss any of my future videos. So jumping straight in, um, so first up I have this Revolution Bright Light Highlighter. So this is in Strobe Champagne with Quartz. It just looks like this. Now it is basically, if I get the lid off, it is pretty much like the Charlotte Tilbury ones, but like a knockoff version. Now, I do really like this. I am not much of a, a cream fan, though. I would prefer a powder over a cream. Um, I just can't get into the hype of the cream. I think it's because of my hot flushes. The cream just doesn't last as long as powder does on my skin. So I think that's why, but I did really like this. And instead of using the sponge to put it on my high points, um, I actually just popped it on my finger and then I like tapped it in. Or I used a, like a small beauty blender and took some off the sponge and then blended it in. So then it wasn't like pulling up my makeup that was underneath and it wasn't like too over the top but this is absolutely beautiful very blinding um and i definitely would say this is right up there with the charlotte tilbury one so if you like the charlotte tilbury one you would probably like this one but at a fraction of the cost next up i have this a one size beauty concealer so this is in fair too now i have been consistently using this for all my looks for say the last like 10 weeks um, and I really do like this. Uh, it has very much of like a uh, tart shape tape sort of feel to it. It's quite thick. It's very creamy. A little bit goes a long way. And it is very, very full coverage. Um, I wouldn't use this if you don't like full coverage. Um, but you can go in with like a smaller amount. So then it isn't like so full coverage um but if you if you don't want much coverage then definitely don't get this one i would definitely repurchase this again um i i would actually like to put this to the test compared to the tarte shape tape and see which one i prefer um it also reminds me of like the elf concealer as well um so yeah i really do like this but that is sort of the formulas that i like i like it to be creamy i like it to be thick and i like it to be full coverage so yeah i really do like this so next up is just another pair of lashes from glam geo lashes um each time i pull out some new makeup i try to pull out a, a different pair of lashes that i haven't been using as well um i absolutely love glam geo lashes it's probably up there as my top favorite lash brand and i will add on the screen as well but you can use code erica to save some money um but yeah i absolutely love this little brand i do actually purchase in bulk um and then each time that i run out then i'll purchase another bulk one because it is an american brand it's a small little business um that one of my friends actually is one of the pr reps for um and yeah, I absolutely have fallen in love with these lashes, but because of the postage, I can't go and buy every single lash that comes out, unfortunately. So yeah, I just place a bulk order instead and get whatever is in stock whenever I have a run low. So yeah, I really do love these. I've actually got, I just got my next haul from Glam Geo Lashes. So um, keep an eye out on that. That will be either in a vlog that's already posted or a vlog that's coming. So yeah, I really like Glam Geo Lashes and I really like the packaging as well for this. So the next product is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. So it's color correcting full coverage cream plus hydrating and anti-aging concealer with SPF 50. Now I didn't purchase the full size of this because I wanted to give it a try and I didn't want to spend that kind of money on something in case I don't like it. So I actually used 100 Sephora points and was able to get this little sample. Now, I got this in the shade Light, so it's just a little 4 mil. I had to actually look that up on my phone to work out the shade because it doesn't say it on here. Um, now, I really like it, yes, but I don't think I will actually purchase the full size. I still like my L'Oreal Infallible 
like a lot more so yeah I think this is like a nice alternative but my L'Oreal is a lot cheaper this does have SPF 50 in it though and it is a nice formula so I can see why people love it and if I didn't have my L'Oreal then I probably would repurchase this my only downside to this is that the shade is light and it is still too dark for me so I'd probably need a fake tan for it to actually like blend in nicely but yeah I really like it it held up through my hot flushes and everything so yeah I do like this one next up is from Patrick Tarr and it's one of the blushes so this one's in She's Passionate it's a monochrome moment velvet blush so opening it up this is what it looks like now, I do really like this. I actually have this on my skin today. Um, it is very nice, but it is very, very subtle. Um, if you were darker skin tone than me, which pretty much everyone is, um, it wouldn't show up on you, I really don't feel, because uh, it barely shows up on me and I'm cast by the ghost. So I am a bit disappointed in the shade. I guess I should have looked at it in store rather than purchasing online. Um, but I didn't want to go like too over the top dark. So I thought this shade would be nice for me. But yeah, it's very, very subtle. I have to build it up quite a lot to be able to see anything. Um, it's more of like a no makeup makeup blush. But I love the formula. Absolutely beautiful. And I definitely would purchase other shades. But I would go in store and actually swatch them and have a look. Um, just so I can see like the payoff and make sure that you would be able to see it. Next up is from Glowish by Huda Beauty. So this is the Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder. And this is in 02 Medium. Now, I did swatch these in store at one point. So I knew that the shade down, I think it was like light or something like that. Um, I knew that there wasn't too much pigment in it. Like I could definitely get away with using the two and it not be too dark. So again, I'm wearing it today as bronzer. And I do really, really like it. But again, yeah, the pigment isn't like super dark or anything. So I could have even gone up, gone the next shade up. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice formula. Absolutely love it. And I would definitely repurchase that again. Okay, next product, I have to throw in something from Center of Attention Cosmetics because, you know, that's my favorite brand right now. Um, so she has released her lip oils and I thought I would do a quick follow up. I did share these in a vlog or something, um, but I have been using them now for, I think, about six to eight weeks. Um, actually, no, probably eight weeks. Yeah, probably eight weeks at this point. Um, and I absolutely love them. So my favorite is a candy shop, which is this one here. And it smells absolutely divine. Um, but I do have one beside my bed, one in the lounge room, and then one in my bag as well. The rest I actually have behind me um, on my little display. Um, but yeah, this is absolutely amazing. Love, love, love the formula. I love the doe food applicator. It's quite nice and like big. Um, the scent, oh, it's absolutely to die for. Love it. Um, yeah, this is a really, really beautiful formula. If you're into lip oils and you want something that's hydrating and makes your lips like look, they look so plumped and like glossy and just like absolutely delicious then this is what you need um i haven't tried too many lip oils that i've actually enjoyed but this one yeah i absolutely love the formula and that's why i went back and brought the rest of the shades because yeah i absolutely love these the lucky last two products is from blend bunny cosmetics so we'll go with the disappointing one first the primal palette which is no longer stocked and I've only just like sort of got my hands on it a few months ago now and been using it and I have fallen in love with it and now it's discontinued and it's sold out. I'm so so sad about this because I love Glen Bunny formula. Um, I have all but the latest palette now so it's um, the 90s palette, that one, I don't have that one yet, which I will be purchasing, um, but I normally wait for like a sale or something because shipping is so expensive and we never get anything when releases happen. So there's no point in me trying to get it for a release for a video or anything. So yeah, I will probably get it on a sale, but I have absolutely fallen in love with this. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. These shimmers are amazing. Absolutely amazing. I mean, I love them matte formulas as well um but the shimmers in this palette oh, 
They're just so nice. And I can't believe it's discontinued. Um, I also love that this has like a big black and a big white as well. I mean, you're never going to run out of black and white shadow in this palette. Um, I also love that they didn't include a mirror on this one because I, when I, I mean, when I'm doing my makeup, I don't need a palette with a mirror in it every single time. So yeah, it was nice to not have a mirror on this one. Uh, but yeah, I love this color story. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. It's like a blends with shimmers mixed in. Uh, so yeah, I really, really do like this. I've done a few looks with this palette now. I've done some pink, pinky red looks. I've done some purpley looks. I think I've done a green look as well. I've used the yellow shimmer, the orange shimmer. I mean, I've fallen in love with this palette. And when they announced that it's just it was discontinued, I got so sad. I like text a few friends that love makeup as well. And I'm like, oh my God, no primal's going. Um, but yeah, this was amazing. Whilst it lasted, hopefully one day they might bring it back. Then I have tried the Trove palette. So this is their multi-chrome quad. So this is quite an expensive one, um, but it is so, so worth it. Now my Mine looks a bit horrible because my mother-in-law stuck her fingers in it when I got, first got it to swatch it and didn't realize that these shades were so um, like soft and buttery that it would leave your finger imprint behind. But I have used this. Um, I have used, I think, Mermaid Tears and Cove in maybe Dive Deep now as well. I think I've used three of the four so far for looks and these are absolutely amazing. They're so worth the money. Um, they are so so beautiful they're so smooth they're so buttery yeah it's just absolutely amazing formula my only thing that i have to say to, with this is it did not mix well with my center of attention cosmetics eye primer i got creases i'm yet to try it with a different primer so i need to actually pull out one of my p louise um and put it on top of that and see if that sets differently but yeah after about I think five to six hours um, it started creasing and that was on every single one of my shades so yeah I will say that was the only disappointing thing about it but I could just tap it back into place when I noticed that it had started creasing so yeah I absolutely love this and yeah it was definitely worth the money so that is everything that I have been trying in the last two to three months. Now I am about to post up on Instagram for what you guys want me to try for the next lot. So if you keep an eye out on my Instagram, um, that is where I'm going to start posting which foundation should I try, which palette should I try, because I have two massive drawers over there that are full of products that I have brought but I have not actually tried myself yet. And whilst I know they're not new to the beauty community, they're new to me and I need to start using them before they go yucky. <laughs> so yeah, if you keep an eye out on that, I'm gonna start posting that maybe once every six weeks or so. And then I will follow up um, with speed reviews and let you guys know what I think after I've actually fully put them to the test and used them multiple times. So I can give you my full absolute review on them but i hope you enjoyed today's little video if you did don't forget to hit the thumbs up down below because it really helps me out and if you're new don't forget to join my family hit that subscribe button and change that notification bell to all so you don't miss any of my future videos and as always thanks for watching guys bye